this is Pookie and Buddy and today we are talking about self-harm and suicide and specifically whether there's a link between the two. Uh, one of you lovely people sent me a question about this saying if a young person is harming themselves does that mean that they are suicidal? The short answer to the question is no. The first thing to understand is that self-harm is very very common. We're seeing massive rise in prevalence amongst young people. The World Health Organization estimated it recently at one in five 15 year old girls had self-harmed at least once. So it's something that loads and loads and loads and loads of people do and many of them never have any thoughts of suicide whatsoever. Um, and actually some young people will tell you that self-harming is the thing that keeps them safe from suicide so actually it's their way of managing their way of coping it's not a healthy way of coping and we've looked in other videos about how we need to try and replace it with healthier means of coping but for them at the moment it's their way of managing to get from morning to night without taking more extreme measures so in a way it's a protective factor for some people against suicide but when we look at people who do take their lives by suicide or make an attempt on their life then um, and we, we talk to them, then we find that for a lot of them there is a history of episodes of self-harm. So whilst lots of people who self-harm won't go on to um, have suicidal ideation, when you look at the other way around for suicidal ideation, self-harm is definitely a precipitative risk factor. Um, and so we need to be aware of that kind of potential link. Now, of course, if a young person is self-harming and they don't receive support for the underlying issues for that self-harm, or they are not helped to find healthier coping mechanisms, then it's possible that over time that self-harm may escalate, they may begin to feel more helpless if things don't resolve or things get worse, and they may begin to take more extreme measures. Um, and so they might then, you know, their thoughts might turn to suicide. Um, yeah, so it can change over time. but. The kind of long and the short of this is, as with many, 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 many other things when it comes to young people's mental health, is that we will only get the full picture if we talk to the young person, and more importantly, if we listen to them and allow them to be heard. So don't assume what's going on. Even the means by which a young person is harming themselves won't really be uh, very telling. So young people will, for example, uh, self-harm by means of medication overdose, and that might not be with any intention to take their life for example. Um, so yeah, make no assumptions, talk to the young person, listen to them, let them tell you how they're feeling and what's going on with them. And don't be afraid to ask outright about suicidal ideation. So all the evidence indicates that we do a lot more good than harm when we ask a young person very directly about whether they've had thoughts of killing themselves. Um, and the response normally comes in one of two camps uh, from the young person. It's usually either along the lines of, what on earth are you talking about? That thought's never crossed my mind. Oh my God, why are you asking me this? Um, or it's um, more of a, yeah, and that they are perhaps relieved that you've asked and they want to talk about it. Um, yeah, so it, it, it's a good question to ask. It's a scary question to ask and you need to be prepared to be supportive in your response. Obviously, if you are concerned that a young person is in imminent risk, then you need to make sure they're not left alone and if necessary, take them to accident and emergency. But um, yeah, don't be afraid to ask the question. So basically, very, very, very brief, important take home from this video is the only way you're gonna know if a young person is having thoughts of killing themselves is if you ask that young person, are you having thoughts of killing yourself? Um, whether or not they're self-harming may or may not be relevant. They are more at risk if they are or have self-harmed. It's not something you can make assumptions about, so ask and listen. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Uh, please take a moment to uh, leave a comment with any further thoughts, questions, suggestions that you have. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and please take a moment to subscribe and then you'll be made aware uh, as and when I release new videos. Um, and if you thought this was helpful, please share it with your networks. Um, I really hope that you did think it was helpful and I look forward to creating more videos for you and I will see you next time. Thank you, bye-bye.